What's going on YouTube? This is Sean Sells Tally, aka Sean Rady, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Harbor Freight Apex Badlands winch. And this winch is currently on sale for $100 off. So instead of $5.99, it is $4.99. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I saw some other YouTubers reviewing this winch and it hasn't let them down. Quite frankly, I think it's pretty attractive. It's pretty good looking. Um, and uh, the specs on it are really, really good. So to start off with this unboxing, um, there are about nine staples that you gotta hammer through to get it to this step right here. And I actually haven't gone past this step. Um, there's uh, some cool decals right here, which is kind of cool. And I think they look pretty badass. I might put one on my truck and maybe maybe my coolers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where else I'd put them, but they're, they're there. Um, it comes with an owner's manual and safety instructions, so we'll put that right there. And still figuring out what this is, some kind of some kind of loop that says Badland on it. I'm sure the instructions will tell me soon. Um, guide to winching, so that's kind of nice to have. Uh, Badland, muahaha. Uh, it comes with this freaking thick hook right here, which is really nice. Uh, this is HT, here we go, HT 3 8 um, A little cotter pin right here. Uh, yeah, this thing, honestly, this thing is heavy. <laughs> I could do some curls with this and build up my bicep muscle for how heavy this is. Pretty impressive. Can't wait to see that locked and loaded. Let's see, this looks like a power cord of some sort. So, I'll have to figure that out. I'm pretty sure that's a power cord. Looks like it's thick enough for that. Um, ooh, nice. We got our kick-ass little Badlands front grill made out of, I think this is steel. So that's pretty cool. Brushed steel. Let's see, warning. Hold red cloth strap when spooling in winch. Keep fingers clear of moving parts to prevent serious injury. So that's what that red strap is for. You can put on the hook of your winch and then that's how you spool it in. So that's kind of cool. So moving forward. Ooh, yeah. See, and that was the other thing I liked about this was because it had this wireless remote. Not a lot of the winches have the wireless feature. And this, oh, there you go. So that wire that I just found, that goes right in there. So da da da. Um, but cool. And then another YouTuber, I can't take credit for this, pointed out that there's, this is a magnet so you can put this on the hood of your car or truck while you're winching um, so you don't lose it, which is awesome. It has this plastic coating over here to protect, protect it from water intrusion, mud intrusion. So sweet. I love it. That's awesome. A little wireless remote action here. Um, these are the gauges here. In, out, wireless remote. So... Press mode for three seconds to turn wireless on off. Auto off after two minutes. Cool. Moved into the uncovery of the Badlands winch. Mwahaha. All right, where to begin? Where to begin? There's so much packaging. Okay, so this must be the battery cables because we have a positive and a negative. So that will clearly go onto the battery and I may want to consider putting some different um, connectors here to do like some quick connect stuff right to the battery instead of having to wing nut it on and off just make things a little quicker. So this is some pretty serious wire. I wonder what the gauge is on it. It's probably like 10, 10 gauge. Uh, maybe, I don't know, this says two on here, so we'll figure that out. I'm kind of rambling right now, but hey, it's my video, so I can do what I want. Continuing further, we have this little white box here, so let's see what's inside. I feel like it's Christmas, there's so many goodies. Ah, this is a kill switch. Yeah, you know, this was just something real smart that I think Harbor Freight did was, if you didn't want to have constant power running to your winch, um, then you could have this kill switch installed. I won't be using this because my winch will be 
hooked up when I'm using it and unhooked when I'm not using it. It'll be on a winch cradle, so I'm not going to be using this, but there's your diagram here. So it says uh, master battery switch, and it gives you a little diagram. Let's see if there are the gauge wires on here. Um, nope. Terminal termination stud size is three eighths inch, so I guess that would that would help me if I uh, did do the connectors. Is find a connector that's big enough for three eighths inches. Just gonna put this back in the box so I don't lose anything. Boom, bada bing. Yeah. So moving forward, we got another little. Heck is this? I uh, really don't know what this is. It looks like it's like some kind of groove cut out for maybe some wiring, um, wire harness perhaps. That's kind of neat. So I guess that would house all of your wiring connections. So you run the wire through there and then it comes out to the back here. I'll read the instructions and figure that out. And we got some more connections, so that's kind of nice. These are, I guess, battery connections. Some hardware. Looks like we got some nuts, some washers, some bolts. So I'm sure I'll figure this out. This might be the ground cable. Yeah. Yeah, yellow is ground and positive negative. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that is. Um, man, more hardware here. So... Yay. Don't have to go buy stuff. Um, I've, I've heard this is like a, a mount for, I don't know, a bumper, an aftermarket bumper. I don't know. It's just like extra hardware. I'm, I'm not going to use it probably. Maybe the instructions will tell me otherwise. It just keeps on coming. A gift that keeps on giving. So this is another um, battery cable it looks like. So, trying to figure it out, if this is the white battery cable, or I'm sorry, the black battery cable, and then we have these cables here, I'm just trying to figure out what would be what. Positive, negative, and this is the ground cable? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, maybe it does. Hmm. We'll see. Dude, no. Don't chew that. All right, so we got the winch inside here. And let's see. We can get this thing up. Ugh. Damn it, this thing is a freaking beast. Look at that. Apex. Mwaha. That's pretty cool for the, the free spool and the engaged lever. These are your mounting holes right here. This thing is a beast. I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. Oh, look at that. There's a, the there's a front side of it. Let's see if I can get you a better angle here. Yeah, so Badlands, 12,000 pound. Bad land, excuse me. Oh, look at that. There's a little bee on the uh, on the lever there. I wonder if Warren and the other winch companies do that little touch. I kind of like that. So yeah, this is the uh, first video of hopefully many with the Badlands winch. I'm going to put this in a winch cradle, front mount, receive it on my truck, and uh, and then I'm going to go to a field and unspool it and then spool it with tension, as the other winch enthusiasts say online. And that will be the first test of this Badlands winch. Talk to you later. Bye.